Well, that's a great question with a lot of different things happening. First of all, a normal sex life certainly is a part of marriage, but what in the world is normal? There's really no such thing. A sex life is a part of marriage, and in every marriage, based upon what's brought into that marriage, that part of intimacy and that expression of intimacy is going to look different. For you and your husband, in light of where you are and where you've been, that's going to be an area of great challenge. At one level, you're so caught up, and understandably so, in your own pain, your own recovery from your eating disorder, that to think of giving yourself intimately and passionately to your husband, of course that's a challenge. That makes sense. Because it makes sense, though, doesn't let you off the hook. You need help in that area. You may need to meet with a Christian sex therapist. You may need to meet with someone who can help you unpack some of those blocks that you have in that area. Your pastor, again, I would believe probably very well intentioned trying to call you to the marriage relationship is missing you, it sounds like, possibly. What I mean by that is he may not understand the complexity of the pain, the fear that you have of intimacy, uh, anger perhaps that's stored up in you that hasn't been addressed, a lot of emotion, a lot of feelings about this you refer to. Those feelings must be expressed, unpacked, understood for this marriage to become all that God would want it to be. As for your husband, I would hope that he walks with you in support, that he's there to cheer you on and say, let's walk through this together. Uh, you do not need to perform a mere duty. Your duty, if there is such a thing, is to make sure that you become what God intended you to be. As that healing in your own soul, in your own walk happens, I truly believe you'll be able then to re-engage in the marital relationship, in the intimacy union in your marriage in a new and living way. So I would encourage you, make sure you and your husband are talking about this with someone who is skilled in this area. Christian counseling would be so important for you. Um, you're not the only one that's struggled in this area. This is so common. You just need good guidance in this journey that you're on.